Carl, and I'm out here in the beautiful weather in Sacramento. It's 41 degrees today, but I'm heading to Spokane, where I expect it's going to be just a little bit colder because they got snow there. Hey, one of the benefits of speaking to various groups is that you get free things like this. I got from the enrolled agents when I spoke to them a few years ago with Mr. Bob Mitrio. Also got a client out of that gig, and I think he did too. So speaking to groups is always a good thing to do, especially if you like uh, coffee warmers. So I have just one quick little uh, tip today, and that is I'm going to talk about that camera we discussed, the D-Link, and we're going to set it up to use an FTP server and send pictures to the FTP server. It's built-in technology, and it's pretty straightforward. So here's what it looks like. Okay, so I have my D-Link camera all set up, and now I want to set it up to send pictures to an FTP site. So I go to mydlink.com and I log in, check out my camera, and I go to the settings tab, and there I see it's alive and well, and I click on advanced settings. And here I can make lots of adjustments. I see the picture and I can check the status of it. I see that it's got an IP address, DNS. Now the DNS is at my ISP for Comcast and that's going to become important in just a minute because the D-Link is going through mydlink.com. It's not allowed to use that DNS. Now I could change the network but what I'm going to do is go to setup, go to FTP and for the host name, instead of a name, I'll just put in the IP address. And then, and I say I want to, uh, I guess, use passive mode. It doesn't, I don't know if it makes any difference, but enable uploading of image to FTP server always. Frequency is going to be one frame per second. Now, that means there's going to be an awful lot of pictures there. I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to test it. And then I get the screen that says you got to go to status and check device information to see if it was successful. And there it says it was successful. So now when I go to my FTP site, I will see that I am getting every second I'm getting a new picture. So let's check that out. And it looks like, let me resize this a bit. So I'm getting a new one every second. These are about 35 to 40 K depends on the picture. So FTPing these pictures is great and I can see the picture and it's a beautiful thing and that's wonderful if I want to take a snapshot but I gotta go through an awful lot if it's gonna be one a second. So next time we're gonna talk about how we set up a video stream which will be a little easier also a little bit harder on the disk space, but we'll check into that and see what's all uh, involved with that next time. So there you are. That's how we set up the FTP for our D-Link camera.